Hey, it's Lauren. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about a brand called Yolene, which is by Camille Yolene. And this is not an American brand. This is a French brand that I have pined over and wanted to try for so long. Um, and I finally just bit the bullet and ate the shipping costs because it's so stinking cute and I had to try it. So they are these beautiful little like pink tubes, essentially. I mean, we've seen this type of packaging before with things like Glossier um, and some other brands have tried to emulate it in the drugstore, like Maybelline and things like that. But hers specifically have these adorable vintage style prints. Um, and I think that's one of the things that spoke to me so much from the brand. Camille herself is very into vintage fashion and her beauty aesthetic is very pared back face makeup with a punch of color on the lips and the cheeks, which is why we have this adorable line. So I picked up two of the shades. I picked up Daphne, which is described as a nude red and Pivoine, which is this beautiful kind of pinky rose. So let me swatch both of these and kind of show you and play with these colors. They are this really fun kind of moussey texture. They're a very unique type of formula, um, very like silicone based. So here's Pivon, which is quite pigmented as you can see, and you can see it does this beautiful like blurred effect. And then Daphne is quite a bit deeper nude red. I think they are both so beautiful and flattering on the skin. I'm debating which one I want to do today on me. I like them both. <laughs> um, I think we're going to go with people on. I'll just use kind of what's on my hand. Because these are so pigmented, you need the tiniest amount. I like to do a little across the bridge of my nose. It gives like this very cute kind of sunburned effect. You can use a brush with these um, or your fingers, whatever is easier but they are super easy to use and very, um, I think, natural looking. These retail for 25 euros each. And when you convert that to US dollars, because the euro and the dollar are so close right now, it's only about 26 US dollars. So it's not completely outrageous. I will say the shipping is 25 euros also to the US, which is like painfully expensive. <laughs> I kind of justified it by imagining like breaking that down between um, both of the products. I also got the lip brush. This was a gift with purchase when you spend a certain dollar amount at the time that I purchased. So look how cute that is. I have been wearing these nonstop and I really hadn't talked about them because I've just been playing with them quietly on my own. And I wanted to share when I really had a solid opinion. So these can be used on both cheeks and lips. That is how they're designed to be used. I think what I'm going to do, I have people on, on my cheeks and across my nose. So super cute. And then I think I'm going to take Daphne and put that on my lips. And I will use the little lip brush. Now this thing I love so much. Slide it up. So such a great design. And then on the other side, you have this little like spongy applicator. And this is for blurring out the edges and things like that. So I'm going to just take this and dip it into Daphne, which I have on my hand. I need a mirror. Maybe not one that's like super zoomed in on my face. <laughs> Such a pretty color. And you know what? I do want to build that up more. Take just a little from the tube. You can kind of see, because it has that kind of moussey texture, it takes a minute to kind of work it in. And even just with using my finger, I can create that kind of blurry effect. But I'm also, just to show you, a little sponge. I love the design of this. 
because if you are out and about and say you don't want to use your fingers on your lips, you have this little sponge. It's brilliant. Super cute, super fresh, absolutely love it. Now we have to talk a little bit about the wear and longevity of this. I find that the pigment stays on my cheeks all day. Like there is no question it will stay on from morning until night. It is incredibly long wearing. You can make it as vibrant as you want. You can even see like, as I'm trying to get off of my hands, it's like, it stays on really well. Now, the thing that I have struggled with with these is that it looks so beautiful on my lips immediately after I apply it, but what ends up happening as it wears and kind of settles and dries down is that it separates on my lip lines, like it separates out of them, and it sort of clings to the skin in between my lip lines. So I end up with this kind of gappy textured appearance on my lips that I don't love. I love the initial application. I love the appearance. It has this kind of velvety matte look to it that I think is so beautiful. But unfortunately, this formula just doesn't really work well on my lips. Um, and just to show you guys, I'll do a check-in in a little bit um, and show you what I'm talking about because I think that can be kind of confusing the way I described it. Um, but on the cheeks, I think it is so beautiful. <laughs> love the colors. That, that's the, the thing that I think I love so much about this line is the colors are just exquisite and the formula is fun to use. So yeah, I'll check back in in a little bit and show you what I'm talking about with my lips. All right, we are about two hours out from the application to my whole face and my lips. Um, as you can see, the color still looks really beautiful and vibrant, but I wanna show you a little closer up. It just starts to collect and gather where my lips touch. And it's really kind of hard to show you, but you can kind of see it starts separating and then gathering and clinging to other parts of my lips. And it creates a very textured lip appearance, which I don't necessarily hate, but it does start getting kind of patchy um, and just clinging to different areas. So that's kind of my thoughts on the wear on the lips. Um, overall, I just think this brand is so stinking cute. I love the packaging. I love the texture of the products. And even though it doesn't really work out for me on my lips, I love how it looks as a blush enough that I would justify the shipping cost again. I kind of, you know, I know it's designed to be used for both your lips and cheeks, but a lot of times, products that are designed for lips and cheeks don't always work out for both. And so sometimes you kind of realize it works better as a lip product or a cheek product. And in my case, it works best as a cheek product. And I love the effect. I love it so, so much. Um, so I hope that this has been interesting and helpful. Um, and if you enjoy this type of content, please make sure to give my video a little thumbs up. It does help other people to find my channel. And if you want to see more from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.